I mean, good afternoon, everyone in Redeemer land and people watching us on the internet around the world. Sorry I'm long, a little bit late today. Uh, I got caught up having to do some things that I couldn't get away from on time, so we're just going to have to be a little bit late today. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, our devotion for today is based on Romans chapter 14, verses 1 to 12. Romans chapter 14, verses 1 to 12. As for the one who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not to well quarrel over opinions. One person believes he may eat anything, while the weak person eats only vegetables. Let not the one who eats despise the one who abstains, and let not the one who abstains pass judgment on the one who eats, for God has welcomed him. Who are you to pass judgment on the servant of another? It is before his own master that he stands or falls. And he will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make him stand. One person esteems one day as better than another, while another esteems all days alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. The one who observes the day observes it in honor of the Lord. The one who eats, eats in honor of the Lord. Since he gives thanks to God, while the one who abstains abstains in honor of the Lord and gives thanks to God. For none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, that he might be both the Lord, both of the dead and of the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee before me shall bow, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then each of us will give an account of himself to God. <clears throat> Have you ever had a friendly argument? arguing sometimes just for the sake of arguing. You know, one of our members, longtime teacher here, uh, Chuck Nearing and I frequently have those kinds of uh, banters back and forth, little arguments about this point of doctrine or that teaching or this scripture or that passage. And, um, and so, you know, sometimes we'll agree and sometimes we'll agree to disagree and, and sometimes we'll just banter back and forth for the sake of doing so. Um, and I've done that not only with Chuck, but also with other pastors here and in every congregation I've served. You know, to, just to have uh, that banter back and forth, um, just for enjoyment purposes. But what Paul is talking about here is when uh, we take a position so vehemently that we divide ourselves from one another. And, and uh, there were people in Paul's time, you know, that were Jews. There were people in Paul's time that were Gentiles. And there were people that uh, were proselytes, had become Jews, but, you know, were Gentiles before. And, and so they had varying opinions on what days were holy days and what days uh, were not holy days. And what foods were acceptable and what foods were unacceptable. And even in our day, you know, there are people who are, are vegan, uh, there are people who are strictly vegetarian, there are people who uh, eat meat of all, si all sorts of different kinds, and there are those who view it as immoral to even touch meat or anything coming from an animal. And so I, I want us to hear these words in that context. When Paul talks here, what does he want us to do? He wants us to look at everyone as someone who knows God, believes God, trusts God when it comes to Christians. So he says, uh, the one who observes the day, observes it in honor of the Lord. The one who eats, eats in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks to God. While the one who abstains, abstains in honor of the Lord and gives thanks to God. And then he comes to really where the rubber hits the road. 
For none of us lives to himself and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. So really it's God who we have to answer to. You know, there are people that like to pass judgment on one another, but in essence, the only one who really can pass judgment is God. God's the one that we have to answer to in the long run. So if we're doing it to honor God, if we're doing it in honor of our faith in him, our love for him, our devotion to him, then we're doing it for the right reasons. If we're doing it for some selfish reason or for some political reason or, or, or some other reason than that, you know, it's not going to hold water before God. It's God that we need to consider when it comes to what we do and don't do. It's God who we need to consider when it comes to honoring and the judgments that we make. That's who it matters to. And, and we listen to this, listen to what it says in verse 4. Who are you to pass judgment on the servant of another? It is before his own master that he stands or falls. So it is before God that we stand or fall. It is before God that we have to give an answer. He is the one in the end who's going to pass judgment. But thanks be to God. He sent Jesus. He sent Jesus to suffer and die on the cross. He sent Jesus to take all sin away. He sent Jesus to free us from the bondages of law and to free us to serve God without fear and without burdening our conscience. And so we can do that by doing everything to honor our Savior, honor our God. And we should. After all, he's the one who redeemed us. He's the one who gave us life. He's the one who has given us peace. So don't be so concerned about passing judgment on each other. Don't be so concerned about looking down your nose or condemning someone else's actions or inactions or what they eat or what they don't eat or how they live. Be more concerned about knowing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Honoring Him by the things that you do. Answering to Him for the things that you do. And trusting in Him for every good and perfect gift, especially the gift of forgiveness, life, and salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, there are plenty of times in our lives where we uh, pass judgment quickly because we don't agree with what someone else is doing. But help us to remember that they have to answer for what they're doing. Help us to remember that it's the gift that we have received from you that matters and it's you to whom we need to answer. And so remind us always that we hold you as master and Lord of our life and we honor you with everything that we do and we allow you to be the master of the lives of others and allow you to be concerned about making the judgments in their lives. Help us to focus on our faith relationship with you, embracing the gifts of salvation that we have received from you. And because of those gifts, honor your holy name in everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings all. Sorry for the tardiness. And have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow at noon.